What's going on guys, it's Jerry and Double with part 2 of my Android apps to Windows Phone. And today I've got Firefox, AirDroid, Gmail, and Translate. You know, this time I did actually get a chance to go through some of them. Um, the first one I'm going to try is Firefox. And this is what I greeted with when I tried to use Firefox on Windows Phone and I get like an infinite loading screen which actually hasn't loaded for me yet so I'm thinking it might not be compatible yet And I actually have to like go into the recents menu and completely close it out. Okay. So let's hope uh, Gmail will be a little bit more successful. Get the focus here. Here we go. All right, so at least we get a splash screen. Okay, so we're gonna add an email address. Google, of course. Next. Next. It's weird. Google Play Services, which some of your applications rely on, is not supported by your device. And this was supposed to be after I used the patching tool to get rid of Google Play dependencies. Let's see here. Let's try personal and see if personal does anything. Okay, so the personal works. Let's try and throw an email in here real quick. Microsoft account in. Hmm. I'll do a phone number. Okay. So it's going to send me a text message. time now. No message yet. Let's try and sign up the password. Okay. 
Yes. Oh. That's unfortunate. Try it one more time with the code. Okay. Usually this kind of stuff is instant, so I'm just going to assume it's not going to send me anything. So, let's try another app. Okay, so let's do translate. Alright, so translate comes up. gonna try type something real quick in Spanish hold on Alright, so it looks like Translate's working pretty good. Hello. Como estas? It says no connection for speech input. So it's not recognizing the microphone. So it looks like we haven't had any apps that work perfectly yet. And the last one we've got here is AirDroid. Alright, so it looks like AirDroid actually displays a menu. The only problem I'm having with AirDroid is that the connection to the laptop wasn't being nice. I try to go into the settings to enable the notification mirror service so you can see your text messages on the computer and I'm greeting with with this message so it doesn't look like I'll be able to do that. And I tried to do some file transfers from the program on a computer. And wasn't able to establish the connection, so that didn't work. Got it right here. 
Here's the program on the computer. I'm running Windows 10, of course. Okay, so let's send a message from the phone to the computer. That works. I'm not exactly sure what the purpose of this was, but. So, some things work, some don't. So it looks like the only one that didn't really give us anything was Firefox. It's just greased me with this black screen now. Oh well. Uh, let me know in the comments what other programs you'd like me to try. And I've also got a few myself I'm going to load on here in a bit. So let me know. Thanks for watching and peace.